Hi, I'm Dave Baring, Technical Director here at TriStar, and we welcome you to Ask the Expert, a series of segments on questions that we receive through our website and also over our blog. Uh, today's question comes from uh, Jerry in San Jose, and he sent us a question saying, I have a rule-on bearing and want to know or want to replace it, but I don't know which one it is. Can you help? You know, TriStar is the largest uh, distributor and the only distributor in North America of the Rulon stock shapes and bearings. So we get more Rulon questions than just about any other thing that we sell. Uh, so this is a pretty common question for us. I have a material, I know it's a Rulon, but I'm not quite sure which one it is. The simple answer to this is that color. Uh, there are three very distinctly different colored Rulons that are probably 85 to 90 percent of the bearings and materials that are out there on the market. Those would be Rulon LR, Rulon J, and Rulon 641. The Rulon LR is the most predominant bearing material that we sell, and that is the maroon colored material. Uh, if you have a maroon material and you're using it as a bearing, chances are very, very high that it's Rulon LR. The Rulon J is distinguished by its clearly gold yellowish gold color and then Rulon 641 is a nice white uh, material. So that's the first way you can tell which Rulon you might have in your hand. There are a lot of Rulons, there's hundreds of Rulons, so color doesn't always differentiate the materials. Uh, so we need to sometimes ask more questions. Um, some of the things that we need to find out from you about any application is how you're using it. Are you, in fact, using it as a bearing, or is it maybe being used as a seal, or a gasket, or possibly even a structural part? Um, is the part exposed to any chemical environments? And if so, what that chemistry is, uh, including uh, percentages or concentrations? What are the temperature ranges that the material is going to have to operate in? Um, and we need to know the full range, minus temperatures to plus temperatures, and more importantly, for bearing design, we need to know what the minimum and maximum uh, temperature range that bearing will be seen. For seals, it's almost as critical uh, to know that information as well. So um, when you have a Rulon material or you're thinking about using Rulon for an application, what's the temperature? What's the environment? What's the end application? And then some of the hardware issues that might be uh, critical, such as uh, is, is the material a soft metal, like stainless or aluminum. In those cases, we wouldn't want to use a Rulon LR or some of the other more abrasive Rulon materials. So if, I would suggest that if you uh, have a situation where you're thinking about using Rulon or you're using Rulon and it's not working the way you expected, go to our materials site on the, uh, on the web and go to our advanced search and you'll find some uh, worksheets there that you can fill out all the information and that will come directly to the TriStar engineering department and we'll be able to respond back to you with which rule on is appropriate and then we can help you with any other design factors. So if you have rule on questions, TriStar our website and um, look under our resources and you'll find a white paper that was recently submitted on Rulon and why it's so different from the other materials that are out there on the market. Thanks for watching and we hope you'll join us for another Ask the Expert segment.